We are looking at Evans' backstroke below the water. Commentary by Coach Chris. And that's where we have all the power. Okay, this is going to be one of those, this is what you're doing right videos because you're doing a lot right. Okay, first thing I want to point out is, we got to get closer though. Get right here. Okay, we have great, great shoulder roll. One shoulder goes up, the other goes down. Okay, that's one of the better shoulder positions as far as how vertical it is in the group. And it's part of why you have so much power. You got a real good elbow bend, but just a little bit too much. That hand's getting just a little too high. Okay, we want to keep the hand and fingers pointed towards the wall, and we just want to try and make sure that we're not getting quite that close to the surface to generate that pull. Again, that shoulder is getting down nice and deep. You can see your drag profile. Your hips are up nice and high because I can't see the hips hardly at all. You got a really nice tight drag profile, so you're cutting through the water well. That's what causes your top speed to be so good. And probably last but not least, you do a real good job of entering that hand outside of the shoulder in that skinny Y position we talk about. There's that skinny Y. There's that skinny Y. Most of your competition is going to be entering the hands right above the head, and that's going to give them a lot less power than you've got. So great shoulder roll. Great catch, great body position, good wide entry of the hands. Okay, the faster you try to go, widen out that hand entry. And the big thing that I saw that we can improve is just watch every once in a while when you're pulling, your hand will just come up a little too shallow to the surface because you're rushing to turn it over. Try and keep it down. Try and keep the hand in that deep water as you pull. And you're going to keep that power that you've got early in the race, especially when you get tired. Keep those hands deep and you're going to keep that power up. So backstroke looks really, really good. A lot of the improvement is going to come from that streamline. A lot of that improvement is going to come from landing properly on the wall, getting the feet up high. A lot of the improvement is going to come from just continuing to develop a stronger pull and getting a little more consistent. So we're losing some of those little, those little arm pulls where our hand comes too shallow to the surface. Once you get those cleared out and fixed up, your backstroke is going to continue to drop and it's going to continue to be a, do a dominant stroke for you. So awesome job. I will see you at practice tonight.